year. Look at us there, Simon. This year they're back in Rapid 3. It's like reunited. Fire Fury, charge it with us. Lock, 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 lock. lock. we played it was the first one we played it every year and it was just like a kind of an arp you know friday evening gig we came up we played and we went home didn't realize it was going to develop into this and it's grown so rapidly it's amazing quite something it's the Caribbean. <laughs> now, from my side, um, kind of a weird departure. I, I have been doing some lecturing and stuff, and then been quite busy at the studio. I haven't been doing too much music stuff other than production and, and engineering. And there's a weird, really weird thing happened where I became like this the head of the department at City Varsity in sound, and I was like, oh my god, you know, I can't believe that coming from my background, and I have to like talk to parents and stuff about kids, <laughs> and like, yeah, it's okay, my son's doing fine. So that's been quite a, quite a weird thing for me, it's only happened in the last couple of months, so for me it's been quite like shoes, you know, to, to get into that environment, to that level. But still really trying to maintain a, a, a very strong connection in the, in the engineering and production side. Well, I've been living in London, and uh, yes. I've been working as a producer, so just working with like up and coming artists in, in the UK, and a couple of remixes, yeah. and yeah, just slowly starting to kind of like find my feet there in the, in the industry. It's, I mean, it's obviously very different from here, it's totally different game in terms of scale and the kind of money that's thrown in it. And yeah, so that's, that's kind of what I've been up to. It's quite exciting because it's kind of like, oh, well, oh, we'll see, you know, it's like that. 
Because I mean, he has to go back yeah. to London, and um, I've got stuff to do, and yeah. Buzzy and Sean, they're all busy, so we'll see. We are tracking a single, the, the Brave single, which is really fun. Um, so, I mean, we don't know why we do it. We're just doing it for fun at the moment, but I think uh, it'd be nice. Obviously, uh, uh, Dom's been saying it'd be great to use the DVD to market abroad because it's kind of hard to say, cool, check out this music, and they go, great, great, Paul was saying earlier, great, great, now let's check the band out to see a gig. And it's like, um, okay, just give us like, give us 20 hours and like a quick flight, you know, it's, it's a bit tricky. So I think um, doing the single now, uh, The Brave, the mm. single's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, of course, the DVD, maybe we can use that. Just to check out some fish again. You know, yeah. I mean, like, we're hoping, we're really hoping with a, like, a, I think the DVD is going to get noticed because it's, it really kind of was kind of, it's kind of funny because uh, when, on the special features on the DVD, Paul was saying it's, yeah, it started off as S2, a nice launch for um, Martha V re-release at Cape Town and it became something huge from there in terms of just recording and that kind of thing. And I know, like, kind of really tried a lot harder to just get it somewhere. I know Chasing Bugatti spent a lot of their own free time working on it and, and, it, and, it, and then it didn't happen for a really long time. And then once it looked like Paul's going to come down, the impetus to get the DVD going was really powerful and it's in surround, which is great. So we can offer something that a lot of the guys are not doing. But yeah, I hope we'll see that. Yeah. had a lot to say when we broke up about the breakup, but the fact of the matter was Paul left to go overseas and we couldn't gig anywhere, and that's pretty much it. Also, I mean, as a, a creative entity, separate creative entities, we're also going to be involved in uh, working on a South African feature film called, I just looked at the camera as I said that, that's retarded. Sorry. And, um, <laughs> like in Mighty Bush. Crack Fox. Cuts. Look back. Cuts. So anyway. So uh, it's called a, it, it's called Orgie and it's based on a Andre Pierre Brunk book. And uh, I'm going to be involved. Uh, Paul's also going to be involved musically somehow, whichever way. And then Fuzzy also going to be involved, yeah, right? Yeah. So and uh, <laughs> uh, <he's so> <laughs> okay. So um, yeah, we're going to be doing that, and that should be kind of the end of the year, near the end of the year, around the end of September.
bashing down walls and, 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 and taking little pen knives and opening boxes and flattening them and jumping on them and spitting on them <laughs> and inspiring the exactly. fuck out of people, awesome. which I think we have managed to do. And also, <laughs> personally, from a very self-absorbed level, finding someone like Paul, and I'm sure he finds the same, feels the same way, like creating something that's entirely new and from the beginning, and that was really, really cool. I mean, he's he inspired me and... And uh, of course, the same for Simon and uh, Mr. Simon and <laughs> rehearsed more over the last two weeks than we have in toto over the entire career of Lark. Yeah. But we, we, we're not performing um, new tracks, but we've just reworked a lot yeah. of them. So it's a lot more organic. Like some oh, of yeah. the electro, like the treffers, they're still in check and they're still the same. But the oh. other songs are more organic. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot more more possibility of mistake making. But uh, I think I'll just a lot more fun to do. I Covered up and everything. Is oh, all this new stuff. No, I'm just nervous, okay? Carol Burnett. Carol Burnett. Oh, yeah, Carol Burnett. Burnett. Oh. I forgot the ear. The ear. Carol Burnett, that's the ear. Okay, got it, yeah. <laughs> Fucking out! More guys! Bye bye! 